Hello, my dear students. Uh, I am very pleasure and happy today to meet you again in the next term or second term. Um, we have finished the first uh, term, alhamdulillah. We are going to explain some lessons in the second term and uh, try to concentrate with me and uh, don't go away. First, we will go to algebra lesson now. We have the new lesson is matrices. Matrices is an algebraic lesson. Yes. Okay, we have the lesson here. We have algebra lesson called matrices. What is the matrices exactly? The matrix is a mathematical mean okay, used for expressing data in a fair way to be easy and rapidly to carry out. Carry out what? Carry out the mathematical operations that are concerned with these data. Okay? We use that in math, science, physics, and particularly in computers and electronics. So, my dear students, we will explain to you some lessons about matrices. You have the uh, unit, complete unit, studying matrices. We have here an introduction of it, and the matrix as we know, or as we said now, is a mathematical mean. Okay, it's a method, it's a way, used for expressing data in a fair way and easy way to rapidly and easy carry out the mathematical operations. Okay, Let's move to the second uh, example. We have an illustrating example here to be easier for you to know what is the uh, matrices as it is. Let's concentrate here. Illustrate example. We have an example here. If we have a factory in our country produces three kinds of electronic sets. If we have factory produce three kinds of electric sets. TV sets, washing machines, and refrigerators. And the factory has two branches. The first branch called X. The second branch called Y. And the average weekly production of the factory of these sets is shown in the following table. We have a table here. Look carefully, my dear students. We have a table. We have said about a factory. This factory produces three types of sets, of electronic sets. First, TV sets. Second, washing machines sets. And refrigerators sets. And this factory has two branches called X and Y. So we have here branch X and branch Y. Branch X and branch Y produces what? Produces uh, these three TV sets and washing machine sets and refrigerator sets. What are numbers? TV sets here is 50 for the production of branch X and 74 for branch Y. Washing machines, the branch X produce 40 and branch Y produces 25. Refrigerators, branch X produce 37, branch Y produces 49. And we would like to express this data by easier way, which is the number matrix. We have here a matrix. We have two parentheses here, like that. And we will write these numbers as follow. Here, 50, 40, and 37. Here, 74, 25, 
and 49. So all these data can uh, written as the following and easy way as a matrix. This matrix, we have elements here in a row and second row, we have, we have also three columns here. So this number is written as this way. And this is the matrix. Okay. Let's see the matrix again. The matrix uh, lessons are very easy and enjoyable. And you will enjoy it. And uh, it's easy for understanding. We have the last, uh, the last matrix here, 50, 40, 37, 74, 25, 49. We have how many rows here? What is the row? Row here is this row. This is a row. And this is the second row. Okay. So we have how many rows? Yes, we have two rows. And we have also columns. Look carefully at me. We have first column. We have second column. We have third column. So we have three columns. Each number is called what? Each number of these, 50, 40, 37, 74, 25, and 49, each number here is called an element. Okay, the order of this matrix is what? We also uh, consider that first we write the, the number of rows, which is two, by the number of columns, columns which is three. So we say that the order of this matrix is two by three. Why two? Because we have two rows. Why three? Because we have three columns. So the order of this matrix, two by three, two rows and three columns. Okay. Um, generally, we say that the order of a matrix in general is M by N. What is M? M and N must be belongs to Z positive. Z positive means no fraction, no decimal. It's only two, one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay? So in general, the order of a matrix equal M by N, such that M is the number of rows, N is the number of columns. Okay? Let's move, my dear students, to the next example. Yes. Okay. Let's move to another example here. What is the definition of matrix then? Definition. We can define the matrix. Definition of a matrix. What is the matrix? We have already write numbers or elements inside the matrix. So it is uh, tabulating. It is tabulating as a table. A set of elements. Okay. Put in the form of horizontal rows. Put in the form of horizontal rows and vertical columns. Okay. And are put inside it. What the put what the put numbers inside it? We put elements inside it. 
Okay. We write it as sh this shape. We have a row here and another row. We can write third row. Okay. And we have columns. We have rows and columns. Okay. This rows called M and this number is M and the number of uh, columns is N. So its order is M times or by N. M and N belongs to Z positive. Okay. Let's move to another thing. We have an exercise here. Okay. It's very precise and very easy. Okay. Let's move to an example here. This example say about a leather factory. You know about leather factory produces uh, three kinds of shoes, um, bags, and belts. Okay, let's write the following numbers. This factory is a leather factory. This leather factory produces three kinds of um, products. We have shoes and bags and also belts. Okay, and we have also two branches. The first branch called A, the second branch called B. Okay, the first branch produce 140 shoes, 180 bags, and 120 belts. The second branch B produce 110 shoes, 200 bags, and 150 belts. Okay, we can make this as a table here. But we can simplify it as a matrix. Okay, we can write it as a matrix. Don't write shoes, bags, belts, or branch A or B, we just write the matrix, two parentheses uh, as this, and we write the numbers, 140, 180, 120, 110, 200, and 150. So I'll ask you, what is the order of this matrix? Yes, we have here two rows, so it's there is two by, we have here three columns, so it's two by three. Two rows and three columns, it's the order of this matrix. Okay, so we can use another method to write this matrix. Okay, look carefully here with me. We can write it like that. We have here shoes, bags, and belts. Okay? <coughs> and we write here branch A and branch B. Branch A uh, produce 140 of shoes, 180 of bags, 120 of belts. Branch B produces 110 shoes, 200 bags, and 150 belts. So it's another method or another way to express this data. We can consider them as a table here. Okay. 
and we can write them as a matrix here like that. We have write 140, 180, 120, and this side write 110, 200, 150. So here we have uh, written these data by another matrix, but this matrix has one many rows, has three rows, by how many columns? Two columns. So its order now is three by two. The same data, we have written them by two methods of uh, matrices. This matrix first here, and this matrix. This matrix uh, has two rows and three columns, but this one has three rows and two columns. They are the same data. We will call this data here, this matrix is a transpose of this matrix. Okay? Let's move to another example here. To how to express the elements of a matrix. If we have, mat have a matrix here, and we have a data inside it, this data, if the matrix is capital A here, by the way, we express the whole matrix by capital letters, A, capital A, capital B, capital C, capital X, capital Y, capital Z, and so on. These matrices, we express them by capital letters. But the elements here, we express them using small letters. Okay, if we have a capital A for this matrix here, then we have elements here. This element here, we can say it small a, 1, 1. Why 1, 1? Here, this element lies inside the first row. So, we have 1. And it lies also in the first row column. So we have other one. So we write it as A11. And the second element, we called it A12. Why 1, 2? One, because it lies in the first column. Column number, uh, row, sorry. Row number one and the column number two. This element will be A13. This element lies in first row, the row number one, and third column, the column number three. Okay, now you can complete with me. We have this element here. We can write it A, two, one, yes. A to one, because we have second row here, the row number two, and first column here, the column number one. And this is A22, A23, and if we write here, we will write what? Yes, we will write A31 because it is row number three and column number one. A32 because we have row number three and column number two. A33 because we have we here in the third row and third column. Okay. Generally, we use small a, i, g. What is i? What's g? Small a expresses the element itself, and i expresses the number of rows. J expresses the number of columns. So, we will revise again. Capital letters used only for the matrices itself, okay? But small letters expresses the elements inside these columns or these matrices. This is A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33, and generally we call it AIJ, 
I expresses the number of col uh, rows and J expresses the number of columns. Okay, let's now move to an example here. If we have, okay, let's write the example. If A is a matrix and this matrix written as negative 2 here, 0, half, 1, 6, negative 4, and we have B is another matrix, 4, 5, negative 1, 8, we have C, the third um, matrix here, 3, negative 3, root 5, negative 1, 0, negative 2, 2, 1 over 4, 9, and we would, fi would like find to find what? To find the order of each one. The matrix A of order what? Yes, we have two rows, so it's two by three columns, so three columns. The order of the first uh, matrix here, which is A, two by three. Okay, matrix B of the order, two rows and two columns, two, so it's two by two order. This one, C, let's count one, two, three rows by one, two, three columns. So its order is three by three. Okay? And would like to write the following uh, numbers. What is A to two? Look careful at this. Because it's small A, so it's an element here inside the matrix A. A to two means the element that in the second row and second column. Second row and second column is this number. Second row, second column in this number, so it's six. If you want to find out the element B to one, the element small B to one lies in the matrix B. So, B to 1 means the element in second row, which is uh, this row, and first column, which is this one, so it's negative 1. B, um, we can say C, 3, 2. C, 3, 2. We have here small c, okay? So it is an element in the matrix C. And 3 means the row number 3. Row number 1, number 2, number 3. Concentrate in the row number 3. And column number 2 here. So the number will be 1 over 4. Again, we have the row number 3 and column number two, the intersection number or point one over four here. So three, two, so C three, two equals one over four. Let's expect this here, another one. If we have <coughs> C two, three, what C two, three? C2 means the second row. 3 means the third uh, column, so it's negative 2. B2. B2 lies in the matrix B. The second row and second column, so it's, it's equal 8. Now we'll move to another example here. Okay, 
the question is uh, right by listing right by listing here by listing number one the matrix a capital A for the matrix as we know which is equal A I J such that I equals 1 2 and 3 and J equals 1 and 2 we will draw here two branches like that and we have the capital letter A for the matrix and we will write here A11 here A12 and A13 okay and I equals 1, 2, 3 so I here the number of rows 1, 2, 3 J expresses the number of columns so we will have two columns ok so we will write A11, A12 A21, A22 A31 a three two. Why we cancel that? We have cancelled that because we have three rows here and only two columns, the first column, the second column. So it will be only this matrix. Okay, we cancel that. So if we I we have I one two three and J one two, so uh, we write A one one, A one two, A two one a22, A31, A32. Okay, let's move to another example here. We have many examples and uh, it will be easier for you because we will deal with numbers. So, if we have an example here, like that, A equals a matrix, this matrix 4, negative 1, negative 5 and 2 and we have another matrix B equals negative 3 2 0 and 1 ok and we would like to find out A plus B A plus B means the adding of two matrices now they must have the same order to add them. The order of the first uh, matrix here is 2 by 2. The order of the second is 2 by 2 also. So they have the same order. To find out the adding of A plus B here, we write A like that and B like that. A, write it again for negative 1, negative 5, and 2, negative 3, 2, 0, and 1. And we will add the element 4 with the element negative 3. Concentrate well with me. 4 plus negative 3 equals 1. And also we will add negative 1 plus 2. The answer will be 2. We will add negative 5 with 0, negative 5, okay, 2 plus 1 equals 3. Okay, we have added the number and its converse, okay? So we add 4 plus negative 3 equals 1, negative 1 plus 2 equals 1, negative 5 plus 0 equals negative 5, 2 plus 1 equals 3. Okay, my dear students. We have a little break and we will return again through this. Thank you.
شي في مصر سليم علي ربا وعلي علم واللي كبر واللي عقلي واللي هاو واللي فاهم وانت ماشي في مصر سلم علي ربا وعلي علم واللي كبر واللي عقلي واللي هاو واللي فاهم عالتاريخ علي بتربى ابنها من صغر ويكبر يبقى راجل عالتاريخ اللي بيكتب اسمها في كتابه حاضر علي بتربى ابنها من صغر ويكبر يبقى راجل عالبنا Again, my dear students, let's complete our lesson for matrices. Now we have some special uh, kind of matrices. So concentrate with me. We have the first type of special matrices here. Okay, let's concentrate here. We have some special matrices. Okay, the first uh, type of matrices is the row matrix. What is the row matrix? Yes, okay. Here. You know, some special matrices. We have the row matrix. What is the row matrix? The row matrix here is only a row. With any number of columns. We can say 2, 1, 0. It's a row matrix. Why it is row matrix? Because it's just one row and any number of columns. So this matrix of order one by three, as example. Number two, we have also the second special matrici matrices, which is the column matrix. What is the column matrix? It's just a column here can say 3, negative 9, 2. So it's just a, row, uh, a column and any number of rows. So we call it a column matrix. This column matrix is of order 3 rows here, but 1 column. OK? Um, another some properties of matrices, okay, number three, square matrix, square matrix, as its name, as the square, if I have a matrix like that, so the number of rows here will be the number of columns, say two, one, negative three, 0, negative 5, 9, 2, 8, 15. So it's a square matrix. Why it is a square matrix? Because number of rows 
equals the number of columns. So it's a three by three order. We have also another matrix or another square matrix like that. We can say zero, five, two, nine. It's two by two matrix. Why two by two? Because because we have only two rows and two columns. Okay. We have also number four. Transpose. Transpose of a matrix. What is matrix and this is transpose here? A is a matrix equals two, three, one, five, eight, nine. So it is a matrix of two by three order. We call A T or A transpose of this matrix when we put its rows as a column or its column as a rows. So this first column here, two and five, we write it as a row. And this second column, we write it as second row. This third column, we write it the third row. Okay? Or we can say two three one two three one. Two three one is the first row become first column. Five eight nine first row it becomes first second. Uh, this second row equals second column. So it will be confused. So it is what it is transpose of this matrix A. Okay and. We will simplify it by AT. AT means A transpose. Okay. Let's move to another one. Number five. We call the zero matrix. What is the zero matrix? Zero matrix. From its name, of course will be zeros. All of these elements of all of its elements are zeros, like that. So it's zero element or zero matrix and all of elements equal zero. This zero matrix it's of order two by three because we have two rows and three columns. So it's O two three and we symbolize it by capital O. Okay. It's null or zero matrix. Okay. Let's move to some questions here. If A equals this matrix, negative one and one, one and four, for the first row, 2, 5, 0, 3, 7, 2, and we have another matrix here like that, 1, 2, 3, another matrix negative 2, 4 and 0, 0, negative 1, and in three. We would like to find out three X plus two B. Okay, three A, sorry, plus two B. Okay. We have here this matrix A. So we'll find three A by multiplying each element of A by three. Three multiplied by negative one equal negative three. 3 multiplied by 1 equals 3. 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12. 3 times 2 equals 6. And 15, 0. 3 by 3, 9. 21 and 6. So it's a three, 3 A now. And 2 B, we will multiply each element of B by 2. 
So 2 times 1 equal 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 3 equals 6. Negative 4. 8. 0. 0. Negative 2. Negative 6. We multiplied each number of this element by 2 because it's 2b. Now we would like to find out 3a plus 2b. Here, we will find out the answer. Each element added with its corresponding. So negative 3 plus 2 equals negative 1. 3 plus 4 equals 7. 12 plus 6 equals 18. 6 plus negative 4 equals 2. 15 plus 8 equals 23. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 9 plus 0 equals 9. Okay. 21 plus negative 2 equals 19. 6 plus negative 6 equals 0. So, the final answer is this one, or this matrix. We have added each element with it, its corresponding element. It's very easy for you. Okay? The equality of a matrix. Quality of a matrix is very enjoyable and easy part. If we have two uh, equal matrices like that, we have A, a matrix, okay? And B is another matrix. This matrix is 2, 1, 5, 3, 0, 9. This matrix also will be 2, 5 over 5, which is 1, 5, 0 over 7 here, 6 over 2, and 9. R A equals B, is A equals B. Of course, A equals B because each element here equal its corresponding here. A here equal uh, A11 equals 2 and uh, B11 equal 2 also. A12 equals 1. 5 divided by 5 equals 1 also. 5 equals 5, of course. 3 equals 6 over 2. 0 equals 0 over 7. 9 equals 9. So the matrix A equals matrix B. Yo, yes, you say that it's very easy. Okay, we can use this equality to find some uh, symbols or some values or variables. If we have here two matrices are equal, and we have x, 2, 5, and y, and this is 3, 2, 5, and x plus 3, to find x and y. Okay, let's use the property that if the matrix A equals matrix B, then we have the first element equals the first element here. So, of course, x equals 3. And also y equals x plus 3. So, we can say y equals x equals 3, so we substitute by 3, plus 3 equals 6. So, x now equals 3, to be equal 3, and y equals 6, to be equal 3, plus 3, plus 3 equals 6. Okay? Let's move to another example. I'll ask you, is this matrix here? Is it equal, this matrix, 2, 8, 9, 6? Are they equal? No, they are not. Because 2 equal 2, okay, but 0 doesn't equal 8. Okay? And if we have two matrices like that, 1, 1, 1, and also, and this matrix equal 1, 1, 1, they have only ones. But is this matrix equal this one? Of course not, because here we have number of rows 2, 8, 
two number of rows, but here we have just one number of row. Okay? Let's move to another example. Find, okay, find the value of x, y, and z. We have here two columns are equal. This column, this uh, matrix, z, 0, 2, 4, 7, and 5. This one equal negative 1, 0 x plus 5, 4, 2y minus 3, and 5. Look carefully at it, as this. We have z is the first element here equal negative 1. So z is very easy for us to find out that z equals negative 1. And x plus 5 equals 2. And we can easily transfer 5 to be 2 minus 5 so x equal negative 3 we have z equal negative 1 and x equal negative 3 if we look at this element here which is 2y minus 3 this element of course equals 7 the corresponding element for it so 2y equals 10 2y equals 10 and so y equals 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So z here equals negative 1, x equals negative 3 and y equals 5. Okay, let's move to another example for you. What is the operations? We will uh, study some operations on matrices like adding subtracting, then multiplying. And let's move first to the operation adding. Adding matrices. If we have matrix A like that, 2, 1, 3, negative 2. Another matrix B, 5, 2, 2, and 3. And we would like to find out A plus B. A plus B means adding the two matrices. Okay, put these matrices like that. 2, 1, 3, negative 2, 5, 2, 2, and 3. We notice that the two matrices here has, have the same order. It's 2 by 2 here. It's order 2 by 2. And this one is order is 2 by 2 also because we have two rows and two columns, two rows and two columns. So we can add 2 with 5 will be 7, 1 with 2 will be 3, 3 plus 2 equals 5, negative 2 plus 3 equals 1. So the result equals this matrix. So it's an addition operation is very easy. It's the easiest thing in this part. What's the scalar multiplying? Scalar multiplying means, my dear students, that a number multiplied by a matrix. Let's see if we have a matrix here like that. This matrix, 3, 2, 1, 5, 0, negative 3. And we would like to find out 2a. 2a means 2 multiplied this matrix a. 3, 2, 1, 5, 0, negative 3. We will multiply each element here by all these elements. 2 multiplied 2 equals 6. 2 multiplied 2 equals 4. 2 multiplied 1 equals 2. 2 times 5 equals 10. 2 times 0 equals 0. 2 times negative 3 equals negative 6. So the resulted 1 here equals 2a. Okay? We have also some examples. A 
if we have a here equals 1 negative 2 3 5 4 and 2 and we have another matrix B like that negative 1 negative 2 5 1 3 and 2 and we have the third matrix here like that 2 0 negative 1 3 4 and 6 and we'd like to find out number 1 2a plus c transpose okay the new thing is transpose here 2a means we multiply a by 2 directly we can do it it's very easy 2 times 1 equals 2 2 times 1 equals 2 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4 2 times 3 equals 6 2 times 5 equals 10 2 times 4 equals 8 2 times 2 equals 4 plus what? plus C transpose what is C transpose here? we have C here this is the row second row one two three columns we will transfer the row as a column two zero negative one is the first row will be the first column two zero negative one two zero negative one three four six will be three four six like that so we find out the transpose of the uh, matrix c making the rows as the columns or vice versa we can say the first column as the first row 2 and 3, 2 and 3, 0 and 4, 0 and 4, negative 1 and 6, negative 1 and 6. Okay? Now we can add them because they, ha they have the same order. We have here 3 rows, 2 columns, 3 rows, 2 columns. We can add 2 plus 2, the first element with the first element equals 4. Negative 4 plus 3 equals negative 1. 6 plus 0 equals 6. 10 plus 4 equals 14. And we have also the final row. 8 plus negative 1 equals 7. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Okay? So we have the final answer for this expression. 2a, 2 multiplied the matrix A plus C transpose which making the trans transpose of C. And we add them. This is the final answer. Okay. Let's move to the properties of addition and subtraction for matrices. Matrices as integer numbers, natural numbers. Okay. So we have some properties here of addition properties of addition of, a mat of the matrix matrices okay this is n okay it's commutative One. what is the meaning of commutative matrix a matrix is it equal is it equal plus a that's right so a plus b equal b plus a the second property is associative the meaning of associative if we have added with the matrix b added with the matrix c and first the matrix a added uh, with the matrix B in the same bracket and then we add to them the matrix C is it equal okay plus B plus C yes it's right because uh, associative is uh, is correct for the matrices okay my dear students a pleasure to meet you today at the beginning we have the first uh, uh, opposite of this yeah, term. We will meet the next Friday 
goodbye and good luck.